A study released Tuesday from UNL's Department of Agricultural Economics says the value of Nebraska's ethanol industry over the last three years has averaged nearly $5 billion a year. This state is the second biggest ethanol producer in the nation behind Iowa and supports 1,300 full-time jobs. The analysis shows while profit margins have varied for Nebraska's ethanol sector, it brings new money into the state by exporting a large percentage of its production. This week we talked about the findings with Dennis Conley, one of the report's authors and a UNL professor of ag economics. We started by asking Dennis to describe the growth in Nebraska's ethanol industry. Jeff, over the last uh, 20 years, it's gone from really a very small industry uh, up through in about 2005 is when it really took off. And now it's roughly 2 billion gallons of ethanol a year, which is 10 times bigger than it was 20 years ago. Where does that ethanol go? The ethanol goes into domestic consumption, uh, uh, consumption within the state of Nebraska. But what is what we found surprising was that only about 77 million gallons are consumed in the state, or roughly 4%. The other 96% goes to other states and probably into the export market. So Nebraska is contributing not only domestically, but also internationally? We probably be con contribute internationally because we do export some ethanol internationally, and we're one of the major producers, and so we're, we're participating in that market. And I might say the other thing is, what that tells us is that Nebraska is one of the major, one of the largest exporters of bioenergy to other states in the U.S. and the world. The value of Nebraska's ethanol sector, the ethanol and the DDGs combined, or distillage grain combined, what was that, compare that for me, what, what would that rank up against for the ag sector here in the state? If, you're, if we were to go out and you know drive across the state of Nebraska like many of us have done, and we see cornfield after cornfield after cornfield, and you think about what is the value of all of that corn in those fields? The value of ethanol production is two-thirds of the value of all the corn that we produce in the state of Nebraska. What about the cattle, for instance? In the cattle, it's a little bit less. We look at cattle sales, so we're running somewhere around 40 to 50 percent of the value of all of the cattle sales in Nebraska would be equivalent to, to the ethanol value, ethanol and distiller's grains sales. For Nebraska's 20-plus ethanol plants, how profitable has ethanol been for them? Yeah, there's 24 plants in the state, and when we look at the net returns for both the ethanol and the distiller's grains combined, uh, we find that there are some years where, you know, they make a dollar or a dollar fifty a gallon, and there's some years when they make nothing. For example, 2012, and I think intuitively understand that because of the drought conditions, the higher price of corn, et cetera, et cetera. And in other years, they make very good money when corn is low priced and fuel prices are high. So it's a commodity type business. There's, there's years of famine and there's years of feast. You mentioned the usability of ethanol in this state and then what the state also exports out. What role do distiller's grains play there? Interestingly enough, distiller's grains, if we take the distiller's grains that are produced in the state of Nebraska and we were to feed it at the maximum to all of the livestock, 100% adoption and 100% inclusion in the diet, we would still have something on the order of about 55 or 60 percent of our distillers grains production would go to other states or into the export market. What kind of money is that to come back into the state then? That money comes back into the state both for the ethanol and the distillers grains and the effect is somewhere in the order of four to five billion dollars a year. So for the ethanol industry in Nebraska, tell me what the importance is as it relates to other ag sectors in this state. We look at what we call the golden triangle. And the golden triangle is corn, soybeans, ethanol as the sides of the triangle uh, serving the cattle industry. And it gives us a comparative advantage because we have this surplus in distiller's grains, we have this surplus in corn, and so we're in a very good economic position compared to say like a state like Texas where the cattle on feed there is about the same numbers as we have here but they don't have the corn and they don't have the uh, distiller's grains for feeding. So we're in a much better economic position.